My name is Samuel Gobriel and I'm presenting with my colleague Gina Risk. We have no conflicts of interest to declare and we would like to acknowledge Ernst and Dr. Jala for their ongoing mentorship. A low carb diet. I think that we've all tried it at a certain point, but what if we told you that there's another side to it besides just getting that summer body? Today, we are pleased to present our systematic review titled, Cutting Carbs to Combat Conditions, the Effects of a Low Carb Budget Diet on Alzheimer's and Parkinson's Disease. So we know that neurocognitive diseases cause the deterioration of cognitive functions and ultimately it can significantly impact the quality of life of both those affected and their loved ones. It was found that there is an abundance of evidence suggesting that a low carbohydrate diet may have a positive impact on the effects of various neurological disorders. In the process of our systematic review, we established our primary outcomes to be the change in cognition in participants with Alzheimer's disease and the change in motor function in the participants with Parkinson's disease. And our secondary outcomes was to see if there was any change in weight among the participants and to see if there's any change in their activities of daily living. Starting with our primary outcome, at a close look, it might seem that the low carbohydrate diet has little to no effect. However, it's important to note that even though the results were not significant, all studies showed improvement in both cognition and motor function to the participants who followed the low carbohydrate diet. The insignificance of the results is likely due to the small cohort size and short duration of the study. Our secondary outcome was to then determine whether participants who followed a low carb diet would see a decrease in their weight. 100% of the studies which measured weight concluded that all participants following the low-carb diet had decreased in weight. This can also reflect on a participant's cardiovascular health as well as their secondary benefits to the weight loss. Finally, our last outcome was to investigate improvements in a score of a test that assesses the ability to perform activities of daily living. 100% of the studies showed improvements in the score, meaning that all participants were able to better perform daily activities. More than half the participants stated that they would keep following the low-carb diet diet due to its in great improvement in their daily lives. We would suggest that further studies are conducted with an increased number of participants and an increased duration of the study in order to more accurately represent the results in a more statistically significant way. We thought to consider a study that can be done in a care home with participant permission as meals are monitored and patient adherence can be ensured. Finally, we found that results for cognition were difficult to compare as each study used different tests to assess patients to prevent a potential limitation.